Roderick here, and today I'm going to be making an attempt to make a bit of a, an Asian style salad dressing. Now, I'm going to be using rice vinegar and sesame oil as the base. I'm going to be adding some herbs to it, and this is a bit of an experiment. I've not made this recipe before, I've not read about it, so um, I'm just kind of throwing some ingredients together, seeing if they taste good, and we'll move up for the, from there with uh, more. Uh, intense, flavorful, fresher ingredients rather than just using the dried powdered spices instead. So again, we're going to try to see how where this goes. All right, as always with my dressings, you always want to start with a little bit of vinegar at the bottom. This is a new bottle, so I'm going to pop the cap right here. And we're going to start with about two ounces of this. go an ounce of the sesame oil all right so next I'm gonna go a quarter teaspoon of just salt and pepper I use Himalayan pink salt and a medley of pepper. Uh, I hand grind this in a mortar and pestle. All right, next we're gonna throw in this, an equal amount of ginger. Well, actually about half, half, I'm gonna do half. So that's about an eighth of a teaspoon of ginger. An eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne. An eighth of a teaspoon of turmeric, turmeric, sorry. And quarter teaspoon of cumin. Okay, now I'm gonna add, let's see where we are. Uh, two more ounces of my vinegar here. Okay. Next, we're gonna grab our uh, Bunsen Kitchen blender. Set it about midway through, uh, down the uh, aisle there. And we're gonna use the Regular pulse, not the turbo. All right, so I've set the blender a bit higher. As you can see, it's separating slightly. So we're gonna to try to go for a bit of a better, better emulsification rate. I might need to add some mustard powder to this one.
Be right back. All right, rather than just adding the powder, we're going to add an ounce of classic yellow mustard from French's brand. Drop that right back there. See if this helps. I, I noticed my mustard dressings always have a more stable. And if this works, we'll convert it to more of a spicy mustard. But we want to don't want to overpower the dressing with that right off the bat. already got a better uh, better emulsification right there uh, just adding that mustard uh, really does the trick uh, that's why I end up seeming to make a lot of my dressings that way all right so we're gonna take one of our salad dressing bottles here pour this right in there Make sure you give it a good shake and pour it over a salad, see how it tastes. This is a very, very vinegary dressing. We might thicken that up at some point. All right, I'll be back. I'll let you know what I think. All right, so with this batch, I'd say I didn't add enough seasoning. Uh, it's a little, a little too vinegary. Um, we want it to be a bit more mild for this style. Um, and I'm going to try to do some research and sit, figure out a couple good recipes for a good Chinese style hot mustard and see if that improves the overall flavor as well. Um, but right now I'm just probably just going to call it Asian themed um, mustard dressing batch one. And if you guys uh, are interested in this, I will be continuing to work on the recipe over time. I'll try to post some more videos on that process so you guys see what I'm doing, see how that's going. And uh, maybe you guys can come up with a name. I'll see what, uh, what I think of some of the submissions, if anybody does any. Um, if you like my content, please be sure to subscribe. And if you want to get more when it comes out I usually try to release videos on Saturdays uh, when it comes to recipes and then a, the occasional review or something in between so be sure to click that notification bell if you, you're interested in seeing more of my content thanks for watching and have a wonderful uh, day